Good morning, Guy Rock family. Welcome to church. Let the congregation say amen. It's Father's Day, and today's junior announcements are brought to you by the letter T. Thou God seest me, Genesis 16 and 13. God is the best father ever, and in this verse, he wants you to know something that is very important. God says, I see you. When it seems like nothing's going right, I'm your father. I see you. When you're going through hard times, I'm your father. I see you. When it doesn't look like you can make it, I'm your father. I see you. God is not a daddy who doesn't know what's going on. No, he's there, he's with you, and he sees you. So let's give God the praise for being a father who sees us. Let's do this. Good morning, family. It's time for the IBOC Junior Announcements, brought to you by the amazing scholars at the University of Dreams. This is the news you can use. Times three. one. It's, it's one. three. It's three. It's three, Papa. It's only one God now. Last week's message was amazing. Uh, Dad, your mustache? Boy, pick up your mustache. Now I taught you better than that. Can't be no man of God with no mustache on the floor. The title of the sermon was Worth the Wait. Check it out. Cause you go, your hand feel grease and you put Don on a pot and you do it and the grease is something in Don just takes away the grease. Something in Jesus just takes away the sin. Something in Jesus. You can feel a certain way. If you apply everything else, you might still come out feeling nasty. But if you ever apply Jesus, if you ever say, God, I got to get you in. God is like Don. I, I don't know what that's like for anybody else. If you would like to download this entire message, just go to our website. Uh 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 uh. No webs, no webs holding me back. Ain't none of that. But it's, it's I got no web on my word of Jesus. No Lord. It's, no. It's, it's just a website. I'm on church.org. Okay. So what are you doing on Monday night? Papa, I'm going to Abba. So what are you doing on Tuesday night? Papa, I'm going to Abba. Mustache now. Come on, now your man got put the mustache on now. That's right. Monday and Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pastor has got a great word for us. Boat nights. It's called tiding our time. You think the Lord's gonna do something for you? Wait till Monday and Tuesday. Pastor is gonna deliver a great outstanding word at 7 p.m. just for you. I'm gonna be there, he gonna be there, he gonna be there. I want you to be there too. Get that word of God you need. So you don't put that. Now you got my hat falling off, your mustache falling off. Come on now. 7 p.m. Be there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. And finally, Papa's gonna give us a Father's Day poem. That's it. I'm tired of it. Pick it up, pick it up, and get out. I mean it now. Get out now. Mm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is an original poem by yours truly, Pop Pop. Roses are red. This day is the way the Lord intended. Violets are blue, even though they are purple. And I might have cataracts, I don't know. If you are a daddy, <laughs> like yours truly, God loves you. Yes, he does. No, I love you. And everybody wants to say, Happy, Happy Father's Day. Day. a special day to honor all fathers. We are so proud of what God is doing with the men of God at IBOC. And today, we want to spotlight an inspiring story of one of our IBOC servants. Hey, good morning, family. My name is Brother Keith Kahn. Zachary. Gabriel. And we are the Kahn family. I've been at IBOC a little over 20 years. Uh, a lot of times you think about, uh, hey, Brother Kahn, he's quiet or whatever. But Brother Kahn has a story. Uh, back in 2010, in October, uh, my wife of two years, she passed away of cervical cancer. Uh, 
Being a single father has been a difficult process, but it's also been a joyous process. Uh, Pastor Russ, he talks about that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And, and knowing that, it, it helps you to, to surpass those circumstances and to find joy in those things that are supposed to bring you down and take you out. Uh, my uh, Zachary, Gabrielle, uh, my 19-year-old daughter Priscilla, we've all came through those, those tough circumstances and those choices that we had to make to continue striving and continue, to continue coming to church. It's been a journey uh, to you guys that are out there that are single fathers, that are single mothers. I stress to you to continue coming to church. Stay in your word. Stay close. Get connected. And once you're connected, stay connected within the body of Christ. Hey family, let's bow our heads for a quick Father's Day prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you right now for the hedge of protection that you placed around us. Right now, we want to pray a special prayer for those fathers that are out there. We want to pray that special prayer for those, those children and that mother out there that doesn't know their father, that hasn't been there. We just pray that he comes home. We want to pray that he comes and he stands in his home, that he comes and he takes his, his rightful place as a father, as a king, as a, as a man of God. Right now, we just want to thank you for, for, for children. We want to thank you for daughters. We want to thank you for sons. And we want to thank you for those grandparents that are out here in the name of Jesus. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. We just want to wish you a happy amen and a happy Father's, Father's Day. Day.